Hey guys, what's up? Kino here, and it is currently July 14th. We got the announcement for the new Pokemon in Pokémon, and it is Darkrai. Uh, I'm extremely excited for Darkrai. He looks really cool. We're going to take a look at the trailer and then some gameplay footage, and I'm just going to talk about it a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm really excited for this Pokemon. He looks pretty sick. And uh, let's, just, uh, let's just play the trailer. Alright, so that was pretty much it for uh, the Dark Ride trailer. Um, after that, they just go into uh, they just go into some um, other Pokemon for. I'm not. I'm actually not sure what they're showing. The Breaksin and Garchomp. They're showing Garchomp, Breaksin, and uh, Shadow Mewtwo or something. Um, probably for the Japanese arcade editions. Um, but anyways, so he looks really cool. Um, we saw a couple cool little uh, tools he has. Um, He's got, you know, we'll see them more in action in field phase, but his, that one move looked like probably a side Y where he makes little replicas of himself. And then it looks like depending on the button he pushes, uh, they either shoot a projectile or explode or something. He seems like he's going to be um, a really cool trap character, especially in field phase. So uh, if you thought septile traps were strong, uh, this is, this is going to be a whole, a whole nother thing. Um, so here, uh, I'm going to have these videos muted, but there's a couple gameplay footages of Darkrai. First of all, Let's look at this character select screen real, real quick. I see one, two, I see three more spots for Scizor, Empoleon, and uh, probably a Sun and Moon Pokemon in the last slot. That's what I would guess anyways. But um, yeah, we can take a look at this gameplay trailer, um, or footage rather. Darkrai is enormous compared to the other characters. He's really big. Um, so like I said, there's going to be no sound just because... Uh, the people playing in the background are pretty loud and speaking incoherent. We're well, not here, but they're speaking Japanese, which I don't understand at all. So I'm just going to kind of talk about what I see and everything. Um, in this one, they just kind of let the guy playing Darkrai push some buttons, which is nice. You know, we get to see what he does. Um, actually, I'm going to have to pause it real quick. I have a work call. <laughs> hey, guys, and we're back. Sorry about that. That's uh, that's what I get for trying to make a video in the in the middle of a weekday, but we're going to pick up right where we left off. So like I said, this dark ride is just going to push buttons and we're going to see what some of those buttons do. And I'm going to, you know, I guess narrate it. <laughs> I'm going to commentate. I'm going to commentate this casual match right here. So, uh, going with the Emolga support. Very, very good. <laughs> just kidding. So, um, he's going to move around a little bit. Um, it's kind of cool that he, he floats a lot. I wonder if that's going to, if he's going to, he also sinks into the ground. So I wonder if he's going to have a, you know, a similar mechanic to like Gengar in field phase. So we see here, he puts these two little statues out on the ground. Um, now when he throws a projectile, see how the other two other projectiles came out. And now he's going to show that those projectiles came out from the, uh, the, the dark right clone for lack of a better term. Um, but however, if you remember in the trailer, um, uh, he, he made the, or in the trailer, the Darkrai, Shadow, whatever clone, uh, it didn't throw a projectile, it exploded. So I'm thinking, uh, depending on the button you push after that's up, it can either explode or it can shoot projectiles. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and here he's, you know, just playing with the projectile mechanic now. Um, this is an interesting move. We'll see later against the Suicune. He uses that and it looks like it redirects Hydro Pump. Um, here he's, you know, just putting up some barriers. Kind of reminds me of uh, Shadow Mewtwo's, you know, Miracle Eye cancels. Um, also, you'll notice on Darkrai, he's got four little uh, yellow yellow circles uh, circling around him. I'm not sure what those are for. I, I mean, obviously, every time he's putting something down, he's gaining a circle. And it looks like when he uses the thing he put down, one of the circles goes away. But there's nothing on the screen right now, and he's got four, four of those little uh, Dragon Balls. So here, this is cool, right? So, um, yeah, I don't know what the Dragon Balls are for. I'm just going to call them that because that's what it looks like. But it looks like when, um, when Darkrai shifts the phase, he... He goes, he, I guess he 
he makes the field difference. He's going to shift the phase. Now watch. Now this happens. Now you know the the screen's a little darker. Um, I'm a guess. I'm guessing it's some sort of buff for Darkrai. I guess it's similar to when Pikachu Libre shifts the phase. He gets the uh, the enhance the enhance buffs. Um, not sure. Obviously, not sure how you know what those buffs affect. But um, it's pretty cool. And we'll see later when his opponent switches the phase. This uh, this darkening of the screen does not happen. Uh, and again, if you want to watch these videos for yourself... Okay, actually, that was interesting. As you saw there, it went away before time went up. So I guess it's not permanent either. Um, but anyways, yeah, all these links are going to be down in the description as well. Um, so, you know, you can watch it and, you know, see what you can pick up. Feel free to leave in the comments things that you notice that I don't touch upon also. Um, as I find out more information, I'm going to put all the... Everything I found out, I'm going to keep updating in the description. So make sure you check back here to see what else is uh, what else is new. Um, so there, this was interesting. He... First of all, that's a cool looking move. Um, but he shifts the phase with a grab. And he doesn't do the... Uh, I, I, I'm guessing it's like Dark Vord or Nightmare or something. Um, but he does it here, even though it was already in uh, dual phase. So uh, maybe the, I guess there are other ways to you know have this this field effect um, happen. Also, that grab did a lot of damage. That grab did a lot of damage. So here he's just putting more shadows down, throwing the projectile. See, there's two Dragon Balls there. Now there's three. That probably is like his um his 8Y or something. And now we don't get to see his burst because he does it all close up. It looks really cool though. It's probably an attack burst. Um, so was that the first Dark Ride video? Oh yeah, that was the first Dark Ride video. That ending animation looks sick. And look, he's got legs now. <laughs> Look, look at those legs. Legs for days. Dark, Dark Rye about to, you know, go across a catwalk or something. Uh, but anyways, now I'm going to play the second video for you. And, uh, so this is going to be an actual match. This guy's using Dark Rye, uh, and he's playing against somebody using a uh, Suicune. And they're, they're on arcade cabinets. They're standing right next to each other. It's not online or anything like that. This uh, speaking player probably questioning his life decisions. You're gonna see. Well, I, no spoilers. No spoilers. I'm just gonna let it play. All right. The camera's good, right? Yep. Perfect. Okay. Huh. <sighs> so, standing by. That speaking was taking a while to make his choices. 540 health. That's uh. That's pretty low, I guess. It's not like super low. It's not shadow me too low, but you know. So, like, just look at all these traps and all these things Darkrai can do. There we see the Dark Void or Nightmare. Whatever, I'm just going to call it the, like, alternate field. And Darkrai turns cool colors, too. I don't know if he has a different moveset during that. Kind of similar to, you know, um, Gengar in burst mode. Mega Gengar. Ooh, good grab tech. <laughs> and again, he uh, changes the field. So, I guess... Oh, wait, did he, did he grab there to switch the field? No, he didn't grab. Okay, so I guess if you um, shift to dual phase with a grab, you don't get this. But if you do it with one of your attacks, you do. Nice. Did you see that? That was that was smooth right there. And that grab looks really good. He lo all his attacks look really sick. And the character design is really good. The model's interesting. He looks really... Um, he looks really 3D. I know it doesn't really make any sense, but he he just looks... I don't know how to describe it, but like you you look at it and you know what I'm you know you see what I'm saying, right? He looks really 3D. Like if you put 3D glasses on, he'd be popping out to uh, he'd be popping out of the screen right now. So, putting the shadows up. Let's see if he. Uh... All right, so look at this right here. Okay, check this out. So those two shadows are up, right? Uh, Suicun clearly facing Darkrai, fires off Hydro Pump. Now watch. Hydro Pump hits one of the shadows instead. And uh, it looks like it didn't make it disappear. I think the one in the background just disappeared. Yeah, the one in the background disappeared during Hydro Pump. I'll play that one more time. So see the one in the back disappeared. But hitting that shadow with the Hydro Pump didn't make it disappear. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, if those shadows redirect projectiles like that, that'll be amazing. That would be so cool. 
So here, so we can shift the phase so we don't see the uh, the alternate field that Darkrai does. You probably just low Poke combo right here, which uh, I guess completing a Poke combo also maybe shift or puts gives you the alternate field. Maybe that's what that is. I'm not too sure. And I'm not sure what attack that is. I've seen him use it a couple times, that drill looking thing, but uh, it looks really good. Ooh. And there it is again. Again, he's got those four little circly dragon balls <laughs> around or on his character. I'm not sure how they're used yet. I'm sure we'll find more about that. You know, people will figure that out in the future or obviously when the character comes out. Was that his sidestep or was that just when his little teleport thing? Was that his like, no, that wasn't a backdash. He just did it. That's cool though. He looks like he'll have some iframes on, on his dashes just like uh, Chandelier and Gengar do. All right, this is silly because he doesn't block. He's just standing there and he takes this true sheer cold to the face. I don't know what's going on here. All right, and even his lose animation, you saw like, you don't get to see all of it because they cut away, but like that looks pretty sick. He, he looks determined to bring it back round three. And, uh, looks like we're gonna... Why does this take so long? Come on, just go to the third game already! Alright, here we go. Final round. So, um, that shadow isn't redirecting all the projectiles. Maybe it only redirects certain ones, I'm not sure. Uh, that, or maybe Suicune got hit as he was firing the hydro pump, so it, you know, changed the direction his body was facing, I'm not sure. Grab. Oh, he missed. He's bad. Looks like his grab range actually is pretty, pretty short. Damn, yo, this Suicune actually knows what he's doing, though. Also, sorry for uh, the no music in the backgrounds, but I don't have too much time to edit, so I figured this would be good. You get to watch some Darkrai stuff anyways. Watch this comeback right here. <clears throat> he just counters right into the synergy burst. And this looks really cool. It's a pretty decent damage synergy burst. It looks like it does around 200, which is, you know, it's that's respectable. It's not like OP, but it's definitely respectable. But that, that looks so sick. Actually, no, I'll go back and I'll turn the volume on just for that. Although I'm pretty sure uh, the people playing are just going to be screaming in the background. But let's uh, let's see. Yeah, that's sick. That's really cool. No one HP though. <laughs> but anyway, so that's uh, that's Darkrai right there. Um, he looks like he's gonna be a really trap-based character in field phase, pretty similar to um, Sceptile. And uh, his dual phase, I don't know. I could see him kind of revolving around getting that that alternate field. I'm sure that's going to be like Dark Void or Nightmare or Bad Dreams or something like that. I know Bad Dreams is an ability, not a move, but they could still name it that, you know. But anyways, guys, um, go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed. And, you know, also, like I said, um, <clears throat> I will be updating the description with more stuff we find out about this character. Um, and if you, you know, see anything that I missed, go ahead and comment it below. Let me know and let everyone else know that's watching this video. And, uh, yeah, I am getting ready to go to EVO now. I am super pumped for that. Um, which is why I don't really have too much time to edit this video that much, but it's cool. Uh, I'll be pumping out more Pokemon content, uh, next week after EVO. I just really have not had any time, uh, lately because I, I do a lot of videos over the weekends and my weekends have been super busy. Again, this one being EVO, uh, obviously. Um, but I will, you know, be getting, uh, back on top of that, uh, after EVO. And, uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys later. Peace.